What's up guys? Welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name is Gregson and thanks for tuning in. I'm standing here today in front of my 2005 V70R because it's a beautiful day in New Jersey and I hope all of you are staying uh, safe and you are happy and healthy. But since we can't work on our cars or drive around, we have a really cool build series coming up for you on our Volvo 240 which is out in Oregon getting built by Nick Haas. And I'm going to explain, well I'm actually not going to explain, he's going to explain exactly what his shop is. It's called RBP Red Block Performance and I want you guys to go follow them on Facebook because Nick is detailing a lot of the build as it happens on his Facebook page so go give him a follow go give him a like and you can follow along sort of in pictures where I will give you sort of the videos as to what's going on now today is gonna be a cool video because he's going to explain exactly how he got started in his shop and to me this is the coolest Volvo shop that really nobody knows about uh, we talked with Nick last year at the IPD garage sale, Hanson did, and sort of gave a little bit of a brief introduction to one of the cars he's done and his shop. However, this is from the horse's mouth. This is from Nick. So he's going to be filming videos for us, and this is the first in the series. This is the story of Red Block, Red Block Performance, how it got started, and yeah, that'll do it for me for today. So I'm gonna turn it over to Nick, and here's the story of how he got started. <laughs> Welcome to Red Block Performance, or RBP for short. My name is Nick Haas, and I will be your uh, host through these adventures. Uh, I'm putting this video together to be kind of an introduction to what we got going on here. I should say what I got going on here. Uh, this is my humble little shop. Welcome, welcome. A little bit of backstory here about, uh, oh, maybe four years ago now, I uh, got myself a little bit of pinch after having my first child and uh, decided. Uh, in order to get out of my financial woes to go down to the local auction yard and pick up some cars and flip them real quick and get some cash and as time kind of went on it morphed from doing that to actually getting my own dealership license and starting a little car lot the car lot turned into a uh, shop with a car lot and service department and we specialized in volvos what i learned very quickly through uh, working on lots of cars and i started out in air cooled volkswagens you know, you go through, you go to an auction, you pick up five cars, you get some GM products, you get some Japanese cars, and every auction wind up with a Volvo. The Volvo was the easiest to fix, the cheapest, sold the fastest, gave me the lar largest profit margin, and never had any issues. So that kind of led me to start going like this. So as things got on, I started the car lot, and I just specialized in Volvos. They were uh, fun to work on, they were a new breed for me. I actually started out on the P2 cars, the newer ones. And as time went on, uh, you know, we kind of grew and grew, wound up working with a couple other mechanics. We started the shop at uh, Killingsworth location, the business was R&R &R Auto at the time. And uh, things were going really well for several years. And uh, as time went on, I started to get more and more of the older cars in, the 240s in particular, like we see here. And uh, it wasn't until this exact car came into my life. We picked this up out of a junkyard for $700, and I was driving it back to our shop. It's only about a oh, three, four mile drive. It was missing glass in the back, and the headlights were missing, and no grill, and this and that. And as I'm driving down the road, I just, by the time I was halfway there, I'd fallen in love with it. I loved the way it handled, loved the way it felt. You feel safe in a Volvo, that's for sure. So in this particular car's case, it began the world of the turbo red blocks. So for me in this particular wagon, this started out with a little B21 naturally aspirated with a four speed overdrive. And it wasn't a bad little car, it drove around great. You know, it did some little things, put some better wheels on it, threw some IPD suspension underneath it with all the adjustable goodies and a stiffer front sway bar and started to fall in love with it. Then it was time to go turbo. So we found a uh, wrecked car, pulled the motor out of it. It was a 94 940 turbo with a squirter block. And through about a week's worth of time and filling around with junkyard parts, threw that motor together into this car and made a little hot rod out of it. And that lasted about a year. <laughs> As these things go, build, break, repeat. I got a little bit overzealous and uh, upon a uh, lean fuel mixture wound up melting two of my pistons. 
So now the car sits here today that's on its third official engine. This is a 16 valve B234 head on a B230 FT squirter block. It's got a Penta Forge 2.5 liter crank with Yoshi Fab pistons and rods. Uh, Yoshi Fab 16 valve turbo cams, KL racing intake manifold. Uh, it's got a Turbonetics turbo on top of a Sweden exhaust header with uh, of course tile wastegate and I've got a tile blow off valve going to this as well. Uh, it's running a T5 Ford Mustang 5.0 world class transmission with a one piece drive line. Currently still has the original Dana 30 under there with the G80 locker in it. I don't expect that to last very long. Um, KL Racing intercooler, IPD spring sways, our big brake kit, the list goes on and on and on. This is to me what is the pinnacle of what you can do in your garage with 240s. Granted, I've gone way over the top and overboard with this particular car because why not? What I'm excited to do today is introduce to you this wonderful world of how to do this how to do it on the cheap, and how much fun you can have with this, and how easy it is to do. So we're going to be building basically an identical car without this much of a motor for the folks from Shifting Lanes. Now a huge thank you to Nick for doing all these videos for us because I can't be in Oregon. One, because of what's going on in the world right now, and also two, because I have a family and a job here and I can't just pick up and leave and go to Oregon for God knows how long, two, three months. So he's gonna be filming a bunch of videos for us on the car and you'll get the first one tomorrow when we ship the car out to him and what his thoughts were and how everything kind of transpired after he got the car and sort of started to like dig into it and see what some of the issues were. So that's a very interesting video because as I've been editing it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of a mess. So uh, I'm excited to bring you that tomorrow. Thank you again to Nick and thank you to all of the sponsors that are going to be supporting this build and these videos. Uh, IPD, this wouldn't be uh, possible without you guys. FCP Euro, um, STS Machining, um, Yoshi Fab, uh, as well as a couple others I will name in some subsequent videos. So stay tuned for those. So that'll do it for today's video. Uh, it's a very cool shop. Go check out Red Block Performance online uh, on their Facebook page. They do a ton more stuff, not just us, and Nick's been around for a while. Uh, I'll also link the uh, video that Hansen did last year on the duet that uh, that Nick uh, and you know his team at Red Block, Red Block Performance uh, then are in our uh, automotive LLC did. It's a very cool build um, and from a very unfortunate situation. Uh, so just go watch that video. It's a really cool video that Hanson and Nick did last year. That'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 11.15 Eastern Standard Time for the first build video on our 240. My name is Gregson. I'll catch you then. See ya.